Hello, what's up guys? How you doing? It's Lasty here. Welcome today to an inform Stefan El Sharawe player review here on FIFA 16 on the Footwiz channel. Now the Italian recently transferred to Roma in the Serie A where he has already got himself an inform item. He's 81 rated with 87 pace and 86 dribbling as well as 80 shot which is pretty good. He's got high high work rates, 4 star skills and weak foot and of course is right footed playing out on that left hand side. Now the first squad we've got El Sharawi in today is this full on basically all Italian Serie A squad. It's been a while since he's been able to get the strong links to these Italians because of course he's been playing in the French league on. Uh, in this squad we feature the likes of Chiellini, Marchisio and Candreva, all sorts of decent players. But the squad I actually used him in was a 4-3-3 fourth variant squad featuring some other transferred items. We've got the likes of the new Bayern Tasky, we've got Sunderland, Jan Kirchhoff and we've also got Andrew Ross Townsend and Dumbia from Newcastle United. Okay, so it's in-game stats time. If you're watching on the YouTube channel, make sure you click that first link in the description. It will take you to the player profile page on the site where you can see his in-game stats and choose your favourite ones for yourself. Three stats which stood out for me in-game and that were very apparent would definitely be his 87 sprint speed, his 89 ball control, and one which really stood out was 88 curve. He really can bend the ball well. This leads me nicely on to the pros and cons for Elshar, uh, and we'll get that one weakness out of the way first. Again, a lot of the time with these smaller players, it's an issue with strength. If you're going to get pushed off the ball all the time, it's really not going to help your cause. Luckily for El Sharawi, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve which help him avoid those situations. First off, his pace. It's brilliant. His acceleration and sprint speed are both 87, so he's just as rapid off the mark as he is at full pace. And again, he's one of these amazing little tricksters, so he's got loads of tricks up his sleeve. He can do the four-star skill moves. His ball control is amazing. He dribbles like a pro. If you do find yourself in that situation out on the left-hand side, let's say you do a Berber spin, cut inside, you find yourself on the edge of the box. I'd recommend a couple of things. Number one, just take a shot, use the finesse button, and of course aim for that far corner. Or two, utilize the LTRT dribbling and the no-touch dribbling. Get yourself inside the box, perhaps you'll win a penalty. This is where El Shirawi definitely thrives, is inside the box, where he can be really tricky, where it's dangerous for your opposition to make a tackle. And overall, I would have to say my entire experience was brilliant. He was one of the standout players in my team. I wasn't forcing the ball out to him, but his positioning was pretty good, so the ball tended to gravitate out wide to him anyway. Pick him up on the market right now, or of course, try him out in the foot draft game mode. I hope you guys have enjoyed today, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.